Hi everybody, today we're going to work on creating printable shipping labels using Google Sheets. Now normally, this can be quite a time-consuming task, so I've set up a spreadsheet here where I've included all of the important information for creating address labels, and I'm going to show you a much shorter way to create printable labels. So after you've got your address data, you need to open a Google Doc. We're actually going to use a Google Docs add-on to complete the task, which will end up pulling data from our spreadsheet. So click into Add-ons and then select Get Add-ons. Now search for Avery Label Merge and click the plus icon to add it. You'll also have to accept some permissions in order to activate it. Next, go up to your Add-ons menu and select the Avery Label Merge. Choose New Merge and then from the menu that pops up, choose Address Labels. We've only got about 10 addresses in our sheet that I made, so just select the first option here. Now from this menu, we need to select the spreadsheet where we created our list of addresses. Over here on the right hand side are the headers from the spreadsheet populated into this menu. If we go back over, you'll see that my custom headers have become these labels here. Now if I click on one of the headers, it appears in the label, so I can determine the order in which information appears. So I'll choose name, street name, town, state, and zip. We can also manually put a comma in between the town name and the state. Now let's just verify that the rows we're pulling from are correct. So we need these numbers here to match up with our sheet, which they do. Next, click on Merge, and then click on Open to view the new document that includes all the printable shipping labels. We print this sheet out, cut them out, and we've got all of our address labels quickly and easily. This takes a fraction of the time that making address labels manually, one by one, could take, and becomes even more helpful when you start dealing with large-scale mailings, much bigger than our example here today. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments section below. Have a great day.